it's Tybug and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be one of my favorite videos ever and it's going to be rapid fire because we are going over Sephora sale makeup recommendations. This is probably going to be a two-part video because I have 54 recommendations. So the way I'm going to format this is I'm going to be talking to you guys like I'm a, you're my best friend and I'm formulating, I'm putting together a routine for you. So we're going to start from primer and go all the way to the last step, <laughs> whatever your last step may be. And some of these products I have tried, some of them I've swatched, and some of them I've never tried, but I've heard amazing things about. So let's get started. We're going to go super duper quickly, and I'll probably not go super duper quickly, but I'm going to try and go super duper quickly. So first product I'm sure you've all heard about is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Hydrating Makeup Primer. This is a super sticky primer. It goes on like a clear gel. And it's like the sort of primer that you can like stick your fingers to and it'll be like a little bit of to pull it off. It's great for cleaning to makeup, but for my oily girls, I wouldn't recommend it. So if you don't want a hydrating primer, you can go for the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipsing Mattifying and Blurring Makeup Primer. I use this primer all throughout my um, Halloween series on TikTok and I use it mostly on the T-zone and it does have a kind of like a planty smell to it, but it worked great and it was mattifying and blurring. It did what it at, said to do. Next is the Freck Beauty, part of my French Rich Bitch Hydrating Gripping Primer. So this is kind of in between both primers. And if you go and try it, you might be like, hey, this looks, this looks interesting because it is sort of like a white, a light primer that sort of looks like snail mucin when you pull your hands apart. But it is like super sticky and super smoothing. It's not as sticky as the milk one, but it's like nice. Now we're going to go into like, I think the number one primer, like for long lasting, for weddings, for um, waterproofing, I've heard. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer, but this is a great primer for super smooth skin. It's like kind of silky and when you like swatch it and you pour water on it, it kind of like beads off. It's kind of cool. Now we're going to go into foundation. So this was TikTok viral. It is a House Labs by Lady Gaga Tri-Cologne Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. So just a heads up, if you have scented, sensitive skin, fermented products might not be great for you. I've had a reaction to fermented products but it might be okay for you. Arnica is supposed to calm the skin, but with the fermentation, it might not be as calming. <laughs> but this is a super lightweight sort of foundation. It is very smooth. It's kind of like gel-like, like not watery, but not creamy. So kind of in between there, and it has a great shade range. So definitely give it a try. I've heard great things about it. I don't really use foundation, so I'm not really the person you should go to for foundation recommendations, but I can tell you what is good. So, listen to me. <laughs> Next is, okay, I love this foundation. I just got it last Black Friday, and it is my favorite foundation that I've ever used. Actually, my first foundation that I ever used was a Dior foundation, but it wasn't this one. So this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. It is... Just amazing it is like kind of watery and it's very smooth and thin and it sits on the skin beautifully and I can't feel it it's lightweight and I've never had a reaction to this foundation like ever and I was surprised by that because usually if I wear like too many foundations too many times in a row I'll get a reaction from it but like I've worn this foundation multiple days in a row for a very long time and it's looked amazing and it hasn't given me any reaction. Next is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Longwear Foundation. It is a thicker, thicker sort of foundation, but it shouldn't be too heavy. And Makeup Forever is just an amazing brand, so I would trust most of their products, to be honest. Next is Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart is a Korean brand, but it's kind of a Korean brand that's marketed towards foreigners. So this is a Dr. Jart Premium BB Tinted Moisturizer with Niacinamide and SPF 40. It has an, a 
abysmal skin tone range, but I have heard it is amazing, absolutely the best BBCC cream ever to exist. So I would feel remiss not to recommend it, but I am appalled by the skin tone range. And then this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have this product. I've used it for a while. It's not my favorite. It sort of oxidizes on the skin and it's a little bit more creamy than the Dior. So it's not like a skincare sort of cream. It's like in between that. <laughs> I really don't know how to describe it. It's like sort of a lotion, I would say. So it is like a skin tint skin lotion. But give it a try. Give it a try if you're dry skin, I think, maybe. I really don't know. It is a good product. Because I've tried so many other products, it's not my favorite product. But it's definitely a product I would recommend. This is a product I really want to try. I've swatched it so many times, but I just can't justify buying so many foundations and, like, so many cover-up sort of products. This is the Say Slip Tint Dewy Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 35 Sunscreen. When it says it's a slip tint, it is legitimately a slip tint. It is like water. It sits on the skin very dewy. So it is something you need to powder. And, but it is just gorgeous. It is very lightweight. It is light coverage, but it's a little bit of a buildable coverage. But it's not going to give you full coverage. But it is just it feels amazing. Like, I have never felt another foundation sort of product like this, especially with SPF. And this product is actually very similar to the Say Beauty one. When I swatched it, I was shocked because nobody talks about this product. It is the... Yeah, oh my god, I don't know how to say it. Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> YVS Saint Laurent. <laughs> New Bear Look Tint Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. First of all, anything with hyaluronic acid is an A plus in my books. But second of all, this feels like water. Like, I am shocked by it. This is something I really want to get, but st still the same problem, problem of how many foundations is too many foundations. And it, it feels so great. And it makes your skin look really plump and juicy. Like, especially delicious. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend it. I don't remember if their shade range was, was that great. I only have a screenshot here on my phone. But I would definitely give it a look. And definitely give it a swatch. Now we're going on to concealers. So I'm the type of girl who just uses concealer most of the time. I'll use it like to cover up everything, but some people use concealer on top of foundation or below foundation. And this is a really great foundation. And this is a really great concealer. It is the Dior Backstage Concealer. It is not the same as the foundation. The foundation is a lot more liquidy and smooth. This is creamy. It is definitely one that you want to spot conceal with and sort of just like just leave it there and cover up with foundation, you know? It, I just, it's very high coverage in my opinion, and it stays where you put it. And then this, of course, is a classic, an amazing concealer. This is the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy Brightening Concealer in Daytime Eye Cream. I don't use it under my eyes at all. I don't use any concealer under my eyes because I kind of have wrinkly under eyes, and I have yet to find a concealer that feels comfortable under the eyes first off. So I use this as a regular concealer. It is a great concealer. Unfortunately, when I got it, I got the wrong shade. So, you know, I'd be putting it on and be like, oh, why is it oxidizing? It wasn't oxidizing. It was just kind of dark on my skin. But it is creamy and it is good coverage. I used to use this product all the time. I have to get a new shade so I don't have it currently. But it's an amazing product. It is popular for a reason. But I do think some people have a problem with it because it has more yellow undertones. Another concealer that seems really great, really smooth and lightweight is the Say Hydra Beam Brightening Hydrating Creamy Under Eye Concealer. When I tried it, I didn't really think it was creamy. I thought it was more sort of gel-like. But 
if they want to call it creamy, okay. Uh, it it just felt really great when I swatched it, and I really want it. But again, how many how many coverage products do you need? But maybe if you guys want a review, I can justify it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great concealer, and I really want it. And then of course. We have the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. So this is not a concealer. Don't get it twisted. It's not a concealer. It is specifically for under the eyes. It's sort of like a color corrector, but it's like, like water. Like it is hardly there sort of product. And it's definitely formulated for under the eyes. There aren't a whole lot of shades and it doesn't go very dark, but... It has a metal applicator, and it just it feels really nice. I don't have it, but, you know, swatching it, it was like, ooh, ooh. And then another under-eye brightener we have is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Bright Fix Eye Brightener Concealer. This is more creamy, and you can use it for other functions on the face, but it's mostly used for under-eye correction and under-eye brightening, and it has a lot of shades and a lot of undertones so I would recommend this over the Rare Beauty one simply because it has more options. Then for powder this is my favorite powder I love this powder it is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting, Setting and Smoothing Talc Free Vegan Powder. That's a mouthful but I'm wearing that powder right now. It is not really a setting powder even though it says it's a set and bake powder it's more of a finishing powder. And what I mean by finishing powder is it sort of just smooths the skin and it kind of makes all of the products blend, not like blend in, how do, it like just makes everything cohesive, you know? It is definitely very blurring, like my camera has a natural sort of blurring feature to it, but whenever I wear this powder, it's like my skin is airbrushed. So this is an amazing powder. I use this powder for brightening and just for coverage sometimes. It, it's great. I have two of these powders in different shades. One in my light shade and one in my summer shade. So if I have two of these, you know it's good. Then um, setting spray. I don't really like setting spray. I've tried it and just some of the products have reactions to it or like sort of separate when I use setting sprays. So I'm very picky when it comes to setting sprays. So this is the One Size by Patrick Starr. Uh, on Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. This is legitimately like a hairspray. <laughs> it feels like a hairspray. It sprays like a hairspray. It's kind of a dry spray, which is hard to describe. Like, that's sort of why it feels like a hairspray or like a dry shampoo. Because you'll spray it on your face and there's like no moisture. It's just like <sighs> dry. But it works. It definitely works. It's very mattifying, so for my dry skin girlies and boys and theys, do not touch this. But for my oily skin peoples, perhaps. Highlighters, I love highlighters. I use highlighters for everything. I actually don't really use highlighters as regular highlighters anymore. I use them as sort of eye products mostly. So this, this is, there is nothing that compares to this product. There is no dupe that can dupe this. I see people say, oh my god, this is a dupe for this product. And I'm like, no, it is absolutely not a dupe for this product. It might swatch the same, but when you're using it, it is not. Trust me on this. This is worth the price because it's such a big product and it just lasts forever and it's amazing. It's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. See that sparkle? It's, it's a dispersed glitter. It literally looks like diamonds on the skin. It looks like you're wearing the star on the stars, the heavens on your face. It is absolutely perfection. Buy this hundred times over. I got upset because I thought I had lost mine once, and I was like, I'm gonna buy two more. Two, not just one more. I need like a backup in case this ever happens again. I do say if you're like wearing this on top of um, eyeshadow, it might pick up some of the color from that eyeshadow and get it on the pan, but it doesn't affect it in the pan. 
I know because I put it on top of red eyeshadow for Christmas, and now my pan is a little bit red, but it still goes on like a diamond. Another classic, I think this was actually one of my first big makeup purchases, like when I, I was on my own, is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter, specifically in the gold shade. My dark skin people, you need this and you need it now because there is nothing, nothing that compares to when the light hits this, like especially at sunset. Gagged. When the light hits this at sunset, you look like a freaking sun goddess. It's amazing. And it can be super pigmented if you try. Applying it with the brush, you get the highlighter effect. Applying it with your fingers, whoo! And of course, I have to have more options than just Fenty Beauty. This is the Too Faced Cheek Popper Blushing Highlighter. Now, trust me, I was a little surprised when I included a Too Faced product in this, but I swatched this once because I was looking for more like dispersed glitter products. And I, this caught my eye and it is a beautiful dispersed pink glitter. It's not a chunky glitter. It's a very smooth glitter and it's just beautiful. It's very beautiful. My only gripe about this is that the packaging is like cardboard and you're paying $27 for it and like you couldn't put it in like a metal pan. Like it's a, a beautiful product, but something about Too Faced packaging just gets me. And of course, if you don't want a glittery highlighter, you want more of like an inner glow, there is nothing that compares to the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter. I got this highlighter in a palette of the Bridgerton, and it is a beautiful highlighter. This is like the only highlighter I actually use as a highlighter because it literally looks like you drank the nectar of the gods and you're now an immortal and the sun is shining from within you. That's a perfect explanation of that, actually. So yeah, for my goddesses and gods and people people who are immortal <laughs> okay now we're going on to contour contour is different than bronzer contour is giving shadows to your face definition so contour as a rule of thumb is gonna be cooler toned bronzer is adding warmth to the face so bronzer is going to be warmer toned so contour is where the shadows are in your face Bronzer is where the sun hits your face. Very different. A lot of bronzers are marketed as contours, and that is not true, not to write, no. So for contour, I'm recommending the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Matchsticks Matte Contour Skin Stick. They came out with new shades recently, and they're like cool tone shades, and they are amazing. It's creamy, it blends like a dream. They changed their formulation from when they first released the matchsticks, and I didn't like the original formulation of the matchsticks, but these are amazing. Perfect. Perfection. My only gripe about it is that I wish it was more precise. I mean, you can use a brush to it, but in the stick, I just kind of want to put it on my face, but it's like sort of chunky. Like for those little areas, I'm just like I'm lying down a, lying down a brick. Another one is the Milk Makeup Sculpt Cream Contour Stick. These were just released very recently and they are cool toned and they are amazing. And they have a really dark shade that I hope works for my darker skin people, but I am proud of their dark skin shade. My only problem is why is it so small? Milk Makeup used to come out with like these big sort of tubes of like the blushes and the bronzers and now they only do like the little mini ones and they're charging the price of the big one and por qué? I know it lasts forever but how do you justify that to me? Okay now we're going into eyeshadows. We're gonna do eyeshadow palettes first. Of course I would be remiss to not recommend the Makeup by Mario Master Matte eyeshadow palette. This has all of the tones you need to do most eyeshadows. 
uh, especially for my friends who don't like you doing colorful eyeshadow looks, this is for you. It is definitely worth the price. It is going to be one of the best eyeshadow palettes you ever get. It has a lot of light browns, mid-tone browns, and dark browns all the way to black. It, what more can you ask for? You won't need any other palette if you get this palette. Trust me. And then, of course, because I love color and I love pastels, this is the Natasha Denona Pastel Eyeshadow Palette. The colors are just beautiful. Uh, it's hard for me to use pastel shades without a white eyeshadow primer, but I would do it 10 times over to wear pastels. I love pastels, especially glittery pastels. They're just so soft and beautiful, and Natasha Denona just has a great sort of formulation. And I do think for buying a Sephora eyeshadow palette, this is a fair price for the amount of product you're getting. I don't know a lot of people who hit pan on eyeshadow products if they're not a makeup sort of creator. If you're just an everyday person, like my friends, everyday people who are great, great, but for the price. It's gonna last, yeah. You're great. Okay, this, I, I was surprised by how much I used this palette. I, I got it just because I needed a black eyeshadow, but now this is like my number one <laughs> eyeshadow palette. It is another Natasha Denona palette, but it's the Mini Xeon eyeshadow palette. It has a black, a dark gray, a silver shimmer, a light gray, and a white. It's amazing. I'm actually wearing the white eyeshadow right now underneath my glitter. It's a great eyeshadow palette. It has, for me, it has the colors I need. If you're like looking for that darkness, this is the great palette. The black is pigmented. It is matte and it's not patchy. I've tried so many black eyeshadows that just suck. This is good. Now for mascara. So there's couple of different types of mascaras. One is a volumizing one, so it makes your lash lashes like look really thick and sort of like um, falsies. And then there's a lengthening one that kind of gives you that spider look effect some, if you do it wrong. But if you do it right, it like gives you um, a wispy sort of effect. So for my volumizing, I'm recommending the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. I actually just got rid of one of these because mine dried out and I used it all, which... I have so many mascaras for me to use up a mascara. Um, I actually always get mini versions of mascaras because you're supposed to replace your mascara every six months. And this is the one, I know this is bad to admit, but this is the one expiration date that I hold onto with a death grip because I value my eyes. Mascara has an expiration date. So that's why I get the mini versions because then I don't feel bad about like getting rid of something that has product still in it. And I'm able to use up the mini versions. Another, for my lengthening, this is the Ilia Limitless Lash Lengthening Clean Mascara. It is a great, great lengthening mascara. I use this mascara all the time, like especially when I don't wanna wear makeup, but I want like a little bit of oomph. Like, look at my eyes. This is a great mascara for it. I would say, though, that the comb to do the lengthening can kind of be a little tugging at times. So be careful of that. It might just be a sign that my mascara is dead, but just a warning. And then this is my favorite mascara. I don't know if I said that about the other mascaras because they're kind of all my favorites, especially since I'm recommending them. But this is the Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Volumizing Mascara. I use this mascara, my family uses this mascara, I get this mascara for gifts. This is just a beautiful mascara. If you put it on lightly, it'll look super natural. If you put it on like you're applying makeup, <laughs> like actually applying it, then you will have like the baddest, the baddest, baddest mascara look, the baddest eyelashes. It's great. I also have um, not really stubborn Asian eyelashes, but I do have straight Asian eyelashes, and this whoop, helps with it. This is eyeliner now, and <laughs> I tried this eyeliner literally yesterday when I went into Sephora to swatch things, and I was blown away. It is like brand new. 
It is the Urban Decay 24-7 Inks Vegan Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I love eyeliner pens. I prefer them to every other type of eyeliner. And this like has like a beautiful sort of grip on it. And the black, holy moly, the black. It is matte. It is pigmented. It is everything I could ever ask for in a black eyeliner. And then I also tried their sparkly eyeliners of this and they were amazing. You know, sometimes when I try sparkly eyeliner, it's kind of just like very sheer and like a little hint of color. This was like thick color with sparkle in it. I really want it, but it is $26, so get it during the sale. And then I like brush pen eyeliners. So there's the sort of eyeliner with a pen that has like sort of a felt tip. And then there's a pen eyeliner that has sort of like a brush tip. Like it looks like sort of like a tiny paintbrush. So I recommend the Sephora Collection Hotline Brush Tip Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It comes in black and brown. And what more can you ask for? It does what it needs to do. It does very precise lines and it's great. And then this was just like my original eyeliner from Sephora. It is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. It has that felt tip. But for me, this kind of dries out quickly. That was before I learned that you're supposed to store eyeliner upside down. So the tip, the, the brush doesn't dry out. They don't tell you this stuff, but I'm telling it to you because I care about you. So yeah, store your eyeliners upside down if they are a felt tip. Uh, brush tip two, I think. Okay, for brows, I am of the belief that most brow products are identical. So why pay an arm and a leg for an eyebrow product when they literally all are kind of the same. So this is a Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil in Waterproof. I like brow pencils more than brow gel. No, I, that's a lie. I like brow pencils more than brow pens, but that is because I have thick eyebrows naturally. For me, the eyebrow pens really don't work because they're competing with real hairs, but the pencil fills in like the front and it works great. And always brush out your eyebrows, my girls, my boys, my people, always. Because with, when you don't, it's like a harsh line. When you brush it out, it like sort of, ah, heavenly. <laughs> so I do love gel eyebrow products. Right now I'm wearing a clear eyebrow gel. There is no color put on there. And my favorite for this is the Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter clear brow gel with lamination effect. I love it. It has like three different sides basically. It has like the flat side, a thin brush side and a thicker brush side. It is great. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Colorful Eye, Color Fix Eye, Cheek, and Lip Cream Pigment. This is a super, super lightweight cream that is so pigmented. Like the size of it is ridiculous. It's tiny, but I will never be able to get through that much product. And it's just like sort of like watery, but it blends out super beautifully. And like I... <laughs> Vanessa Myricks is unmatched. And this I've had my eye on for years since it came out and I finally bought it. It is the Mouth Makeup Hydro Grip Eyeshadow and Concealer Primer, but I heard it's not great for eyeshadow, but it is good for under eyes. And I have wrinkly under eyes and I get upset when the makeup I put under there sort of like disperses or like crumbles or or creases so I'm really excited to try this it is not similar to the hydro grip primer really at all it's more of a, a smooth silky sort of consistency so is it's not the same okay they have the same sort of name but it's not lipstick I can't sing the praises for this lipstick enough I have this in the black and it is super pigmented it is like there is no patchiness to it and it's long lasting. It's the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick. They have an outrageous amount of shades to choose from. And you know, a lot of liquid lipsticks can get really dry. This is not that, this is not that girl. This one is moisturizing, it's smooth, and it lasts forever. It says it's a stain, it really does. It really does stick on there. Another one of my favorite lipsticks 
Sephora Collection does amazing with lipsticks, okay? Like, don't get it twisted. Sephora Collection is where you should go for lip products. It is the hashtag lip stories lipstick. They have a wide range of colors. It is a reasonable price. They have mattes, creams, glitters. I like have three of these. And I think my family has like more of them. I, I hand it out like candy. They're just perfect. You know, whenever someone's like, I need like a brown lipstick or I need like a light pink. I'm like, the bar collection got you. And okay, this is a little bit more of uh, an expensive one. I'm jumping from $10 to $45. But trust me on this. This will never leave your lips. This is the Dior Rouge Rogue. I think it's Rouge. Dior Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Transfer Proof Lipstick. It is. It is matte. It's creamy. And when I swatched it in the store because I was looking for, a, you know, a, ma a lipstick for a mask. You know, you clean off your hand a couple of times in the store. You use hand sanitizer. You use alcohol. You use makeup remover. That boy stayed there. The entire day. <laughs> the entire day. I was able to remove it with an oil cleanser once I got home. But, you know, I was washing my hands out when I was shopping, doing all the cleansing and stuff. And I was like, it's not coming off. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's great, though. Lip gloss. You know what I'm going to say? It's the Tower 28 Beauty Shine On Jelly Non-Stick non -sticky Gloss. I have four of these. I have the clear one. I have, um... A brown one, a pink one, and a sort of salmon one. D <laughs> Nothing compares to these. They are moisturizing. They are definitely jelly. And they're beautiful. And they smooth the lips. You know, like, I have lip lines. Everyone has lip lines. But with these on, my lips look like whetstone like a stone that's been in the river for 10,000 years. It looks so good, so smooth, so juicy. Uh, another lip gloss that can't be beat, like there's no dupe for this, trust me. It's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer, specifically in the Fenty Glow shade. The Fenty Glow is just a beautiful, complimentary shade for anyone. And it goes with any look. If you want a lip gloss for all time, this is it. And for hydrating lip balm, these are tinted lip balms now. Actually, I think I only have one. Anyways, it's the Ilia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. I have always been a little bit hesitant by tinted lip balms because I'm like, what's it gonna do? I've tried tinted lip balms all my life and it just leaves a little bit of a whisper of color. This is not that I saw, I think somebody on Instagram or TikTok use it and I was blown away. I like almost went instantly to purchase it. I went instantly to Sephora to swatch it. It was beautiful and it was in the shade Faded, which is a neutral cocoa brown. And she had a similar skin tone to me and I was so jealous. I was like, I want that now. <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet, but I probably will soon. It's $28, so... That's my only hold up. Okay, if you want a stain, I know a lot of people recommend one of the benefit tints, but I've tried all of the benefit tints, and there's only one of them that actually stains, like stain stains. It is the Benefit Cosmetics Benetint Liquid Lip Blush and Cheek Tint in the shade Flora Tint. The other ones don't don't stain. Flora Tint that is a stainer you won't be able to get it off so if that's what you want it's beautiful and it's like water and it's okay this was the product i use like every single day in high school when I, this came out like milk makeup was that girl to get me into makeup like their original commercials and like youtube videos about their brand like instantly hooked me it was like so cool and so new that I just was amazed. It's the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Cream Blush Stick. They used to have the really big ones, and I would use the really big one in a mauve sort of shade. 
I looked it up and it was the rally shade, but it doesn't look the same on the website anymore, so I don't know. But it is beautiful. Like, it made me alive when I was waking up at like 6 in the morning every single day. It had a little bit of shimmer in it. It was just gorgeous. So these are so nostalgic for me, even though it hasn't been that long, but they hold a special place in my heart. And then this blush I really want it is the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. And they have a lot of beautiful shades, but when I swatched them, a lot of the beautiful shades did not show up on my skin, except for the watermelon one, which looks gorgeous. But I was a little bit upset that the other ones didn't really show up that well on my skin, but it still looks so amazing that I can't fault it. It definitely blurs the skin, and the packaging is so cute, and it's not cardboard. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's that girl. And then another blush. This is sort of like a highlighter and a blush in one. It's the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Divine Powder Blush. It has so many shades, and it has like so many reiterations of it in palettes or like with combo shades but it's just beautiful it's pigmented soft lovely okay for bronzers now first we're gonna have the rare beauty by selena gomez warm wishes effortless bronzer sticks this is what a lot of people have been marketing as um as um contour but it's not a contour it's a bronzer it warms up your face it blends beautifully it's very smooth and it's just very nice Another really beautiful bronzer that gives you bang for your buck is the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. It came out with new shades, so there's more variety now, and it's more creamy. It's kind of like a balm, but not so heavy. It's just really nice. And then this is the bronzer I used for a really long time. It's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. I like powder products a little bit more than cream products right now. I used to be solely a cream girl, but now I'm a powder girl. So this is a really beautiful um, bronzer. It kind of gets a little orange at times, so you need to find your shade. A lot of people aren't very good at picking their bronzer shades because they think, oh, bronzers are the same. Not true. Okay, now for sets. I just have four of them and we're going to be done. First set is actually something I got. It is the Sephora Favorites Vacay All Day Beauty Value Set. It has a full-size um, Tower 28 Mist. It has a full-size Makeup by Mario lip balm. It, I don't know if the slather is a full-size, but I think it might be close. And it has sunscreen in there. It has the freck, freckles, and it has the bronze dew drops from, Tar from Drunk Elephant that got really popular. So it just has a lot of products that I want to try. That's like the main thing when you're um, doing the Sephora sale is look for the sets first because a lot of the sets have the popular products in them. And it's really worth it for the price because if you do the math, don't look at the math that they did because it's not really all that accurate. But if you do the math, it really is worth it. Another set that I would get if I didn't already have all of most of these products, it's the Milk Makeup, the Overachiever Summer Faves Makeup Set. It has the blush, I think that's a highlighter, um, the mascara, the primer, and an eyebrow gel. It's the best products. And it comes with a beautiful makeup bag. A beautiful makeup bag. You know, I would probably get it just for the bag. And then another one, the Tower 28 Beauty It's Movement Lip Gloss Plus Cream Blush Duo Set. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, for my people of lighter complexion, I don't know how complimentary this would be for you, but for my darker skin people, beautiful. And, you know, just the lip gloss itself. I would do anything for that lip gloss. And then this is another one I bought. It's the Necessaire, the Body Ritual. It comes with the um, exfoliator, the body wash, the body lotion, and the body serum. I am so excited to try the body serum and the body lotion. I'm excited. And they are giving you the unscented of the lotion and the um, serum. I think the serum only comes in unscented. And then for the body wash and exfoliator, I think they're in the eucalyptus scent. And great, great deal. So those are all of my recommendations. I really hope there isn't anything I missed because I gave you so many of them. I don't 
know how I could have missed any, but if I did miss any, please leave it down below in the comments. Uh, let me know if you try any of them or how they worked for you. Make sure when you're shopping online to put in the discount code save now because it won't automatically give you that discount. You need to put in the code. If you're shopping in person, they'll give you the code. You know, they'll automatically add it. So yes, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions on how to apply a product or when to apply it or anything, please ask me. I am so happy to answer questions, especially about makeup. <laughs> so yeah, so make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!